Hello and welcome to our new bin. This is our, um, what I would like to call it, a thousand and one cocoon bin. This is the one we started uh, last week. And Emily, oops, that was smooth. Uh, Emily, the crazy one lady, sent me over a thousand cocoons that I have been keeping moist and comfortable here in this uh, 20 gallon, I believe, bin. And I've been coming here and making sure that the material was moist enough and wasn't drying out anywhere. So I've been adding a little bit of water here and there as is needed because as I said before, we don't have any worms here, so we don't have any castings here and the material will dry out because it's the castings that tend to retain the moisture so well. So once we start getting worms and we start getting some castings, then it'll balance itself out and I will not need to, um, to add any liquid. Plus we'll be able to feed the bin so the fruit and vegetable matter as it decomposes will also release liquids. So I put the majority of the, the worms in here and also uh, some food. So let's see if we have any life. I still see some cocoons, oh, cocoons, or is it? Wait a second. Yeah, cocoons. I still see quite a few. Oh, way. <laughs> okay, so look at. Here's a baby. Here's a baby. Yeah, we got babies. Here's a baby. Here are two more. Lots of babies. Look at that. These are all babies. Babies, 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 babies. So these guys hatched quickly. There were some uh, very dark colored cocoons. So I knew they were about to uh, to hatch any day. God, they're tiny. Look at that. Teeny tiny. Yay. But I certainly can see other cocoons here that have not hatched yet. And I see some um, lighter yellow cocoons. Focus. There we go. That still have a ways to go. And they will get darker as they are about to, to hatch, but we have a lot of life here. Yep, 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 we do. So a lot, a lot of baby worms. And this is the wettest spot in the bin because this is where the food is. So I'm not surprised that all the worms are here. Oh yeah. Yeah, lots and lots of wormies. So, oops, and these are really tiny. I have to make sure not to, not to carry them out of here. Yeah, so these guys are great. They, they, they are hatching. I'm keeping the temperature here uh, at around 70, between 72 and 75. So they seem to like that. And of course the moisture level will be high. So, yeah, really excited, really, really excited. They're doing well. I actually wasn't uh, doubting it for a moment. Their red wigglers seem to, uh, to, 
to do very well for me here. Thank you, Emily. Okay, that's our update. I won't be feeding them because they still have some food, but we will probably feed them something next week. So thanks for joining me and I will see you next time.